Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the factors of the given number and thereafter count the number of factors that the given number have. Let's say the user has given a number say six. Now how to find the factors of this number six? For that, we need to start with the number one and check whether this number six is evenly divisible by one or not. So when you divide this number six with one, then are you getting the reminder as zero or not? One six is a six. Yes, six minus six is equal to zero. So six is evenly divisible by one and giving the reminder zero. So one is a factor of the number six. Similarly, let's check with the next number after one. Let's check whether two is also a factor of six or not. Let's divide this number six with two. So two three is a six. Six minus six is equal to zero. Yes. 6 is evenly divisible by 2 also. So 2 is also a factor of 6. Now let's go with the next number that is 3. So is 6 evenly divisible by 3 or not? 3 to the 6, 6 minus 6 equals 0. We are getting the reminder 0. So 3, 6 is evenly divisible by 3. Now next number 4. Is 6 evenly divisible by 4 or not? No, 4 1s are 4, reminder is 2. If you divide this number six with four, you are getting the reminder as two. So four is not a factor of the six. Now next number is five. Same with five also guys, five ones are five, you are getting the reminder as one. So when you divide this number six with five, you are getting the reminder as one. Reminder should be zero guys, then only we can consider that number as a factor. The last number we have to check is six. Starting from one to six, we have to keep on checking guys. Okay, if the number, given number is six, we have to start with one until six, we have to check whether these numbers are dividing this given number evenly or not. If they are giving the reminder as zero, then those are the factors. So, so for this number six, starting from one to six, we have checked and we found that only these numbers, that is one, two, three, six are the factors. So how many factors does this uh, given number six have? One, two, three, four, total four factors. These are the different factors and the count is four. So now we need to write a Java program to find the different factors of the given number. And at same time, we need to count the number of factors does this cut this given number have. So for that, let me write the Java code. First of all, we'll, we will, first of all, we will intake this number from the user. We need to intake the number like this from the user. The user has to input the number, guys. And uh, whatever the number that the user has inputted, we will try to find the factors for that number. And also, we'll count, we'll print the count of the factors that are available for this number. So for that, uh, we'll create an update for the scanner class. Scanner class will allow you to intake inputs from the user. So we need to create an object for the scanner class over the mode on scanner and import scanner from java.util. And this constructor cannot be empty. Inside this constructor, we have to provide system.in. Done. Then after this, we have to print out system.out.println. Enter any number. We need to ask the user to enter any number. So for this number that the user is going to enter, we are going to find the number of factors and the different factors for that number. Let's say the user is entering a number, say 12. OK, by looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to enter a number. Say 12. So this number we need to intake into our Java program. For that, we need to copy the scanner object and call the method next int. Why we are calling this command next int command of the scanner class? Because we need to intake integer kind of value from the user. In order to intake the integer kind of value from the user, we have to use this next int command. Dot next int. Next int command intakes the integer values from the user. So whatever the integer value like 12 that is intaken by this program, we can store into a variable guys. We can create a variable like number or the mouse create local variable. So we have captured the number given by the user and stored into a variable like number. Now we need to write the logic for finding the different factors for the given number. The given number, let's say it's 12. We need to find the different factors that are possible for this given number 12 by user. For that, for that we have to 
create a for loop for int starting from i is equal to 1 guys you see if uh, the given number is 6 we have we are starting from 1 till 6 so here also same if the, if the given number is 12 we have to start from 1 until till the given number whatever the number is given till that number we have to iterate the loop and i plus plus okay so here uh, what i will do is i will simply add a print statement saying the below are the different factors of the given number like this i'll print just for the output uh, thing fine inside this for loop for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to number i plus plus what i will do is i'll write a if condition saying if this number percentile percentile operator will give the reminder okay percentile with i with each and every number starting from 1 till 12 we'll try to divide the number with these numbers okay like here you see here if the given number is 6 we are trying to divide the number 6 with starting from 1 to 6 right 6 divided by 1 6 divided by 2 6 divided by 3 6 divided by 4 6 divided by 5 and 6 divided by 6 the same logic i am implementing here where i will change number will be same right given number will be like 12 or something and uh, in the first iteration we will divide this number 12 with 1 in the second iteration of this for loop we will divide the i will become 2 and uh, we will divide this number with 2 like that keep on going till i becomes number that is till 12 reminder is equal to 0 if the number divided by i is giving the reminder as 0 that is the reason we have used percentile operator fine then we'll print out the print out the factor guys here what is the factor in this uh, operation number is a given number and you are finding the reminder by dividing with i so if uh, the reminder is coming as zero then we'll go inside the if condition block if block so in that case we can print out the factor one of the factor of the given number we can print because reminder is coming as zero when you divide this with i divide the number with i so i is nothing but the factor guys in this case so what i will do here is uh, i will simply say system dot out dot print ln i plus some space i will give so that uh, you will see all the factors of this given number in a single line separated by space fine looks good the logic is written now what we have to do is we are asked to also write the java code for counting the number of factors it's not only about finding and printing the factors of the given number but also we need to count the number of factors how many count are there for that here somewhere here i will say int count okay int count is equal to initially i will set the count to zero then every time the reminder is coming as zero in this iteration of the five for loop every time the reminder is coming as zero i will simply increment the count guys count plus plus like this now at the end of the program I'll print out the count of the factors that the given number have. So the given number, uh, the count of factors for the, or else the number of, the number of factors for the given number are, like this we can write, R plus this count, whatever the count, this count okay count we are printing so we are done writing the logic for finding the different factors for the given number also we have written the logic for counting the number of factors for the given number so the program is almost done guys uh, before i run this program uh, one small thing i have to do that is i need to close this scanner object guys because we are getting a warning message this is not mandatory whatever i'm doing so after taking the inputs after collecting the inputs from the user we need to we simply need to close the scanner object as part of the best practice you can say you see the warning message got resolved and also the scanner object got closed and also we followed the best practice now let's run the java code the java code will ask the user to enter any number let me give a number like 12 so when i press enter this java code will print the different factors of the number 12 and also it will print the number of factors that the given number 12 have see the below are the different factors of the given number 
so that is a problem in the output you see the output is not uh, properly organized because after printing the number of factors so immediately this kind of thing is happening the the last line is printing in the same line so how to move that into a new line simply provide system dot out dot print ln that's it and save now run again so that you will get the proper output proper formatted output when you press 12 when you enter 12 and press enter the below are the different factors of the given number what are the different factors one you can divide 12 by 1 and you can get reminder 0 you can divide 12 by 2 and you can get the reminder 0 you can divide 12 with 3 and get the reminder 0 12 with 4 and get 4 3 is a 12 3 4 is a 12 2 6 a 12 1 12 is a 12 6 2 is a 12 reminder 0 12 ones are 12 reminder 0 so these are the different factors of the given number 12 so how many factors are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 you see the same thing is printed here the number of factors for the given number are 6 so this program is working perfectly fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to find and print the factors of the given number and thereafter print the count of count of the factors that the given number have so that's it guys thank you bye